All right, all right. Uh, we've got the bird animating on a cycle. He's just looping there on the spot, like he's hovering, looking for like a mouse on the ground or something like that. So, but what if we want to make him move across the screen? Um, we could animate him across, um, frame by frame, or we could just um, tween this cycle uh, across the screen like you would do in Flash. Now. Uh, in Flash, you, in order to move something across the screen, you need to convert it to a symbol in order to um, motion tween it. Now, that's an essential step. Um, but in Toon Boom, the essential step to tweening something across the screen or moving something across the screen is to add a peg. So pegs are just like, well, not just like, but they are the kind of, they're the, uh, the essential step that you need to to move uh, something around or to scale it or to rotate it, you know, so forth. Um, so first of all, what I'm going to do is, when you um, when you first start Toon Boom Animate um, 2, y there are some tools up here that you'll need that you might not see. Um, you can see this area is blank, um, but if you right click, you want the advanced animation controls. And these are tools with uh, so that you can uh, manipulate pegs. Um, so, what are pegs? Pegs are a movement layer. They allow you to move something or scale it or rotate it. Um, so, to this bird, I'm going to add a movement layer. Uh, and that is the little peg button there, add peg. And there I now have the bird is nested under a peg. So, um, I'm going to just move the pivot point. This uh, move tool, uh, this move icon shows that I've got the move tool selected. If I choose the rotate, there's a little rotate icon. If I choose the scale, there's a scale icon. What I want to do is move this pivot point to where the bird is just so that I can uh, um, position and rotate and everything uh, accurately. Um, so all right, so we want to move him from this side of the screen to that side of the screen. So first of all, um, I'm going to make sure the peg layer is selected. Oh, hang on. I've just moved the uh, pivot point of the drawing, not of the peg. So make sure you've got the peg selected and then move his pivot point to the middle. It doesn't really matter in this particular case where the pivot point is. It's just always a good habit to put the pivot point somewhere you somewhere that makes sense. Um, now, the very first thing that you should know before you start moving this thing around is that this little button here with the running man on the side is the animate button. At the moment it's, per it's, it's on, which means that animate mode is active. So that means I can move this around using any of these tools and it'll automatically create a keyframe here. So. I want a start position for this bird, so I'm going to move him into his start position. Let's say, put him there. Now that's automatically, because the animate button's on, that's automatically created a keyframe for me. If the animate button's off, you can move the bird all over the place um, on different keyframes, on different frames, and it won't um, affect his um, animation uh, position. It'll only affect where he is on screen. So I'll turn it back on and we want to now move him from this keyframe in this position to we'll go to the end, select the, the frame and we want to move him across the screen and that has now created a second keyframe and there he is moving across the screen. Now he's got that big icon on him so we'll just select another tool so it turns off and if I press shift enter there he is, flapping across the screen. That's just lovely. Right, finally, before I wrap up this little section, I'm going to show you how to um, uh, manipulate that trajectory. At the moment, it's just going in a straight line. And what I could do is just um, select the Move tool and one of the middle frames and just move him down, and you'll see him curving down. Um, good thing in... in um, in Toon Boom is that it, it adds curves to these trajectories automatically but um, you can go in and manipulate them more if you need to. Well, what I'm going to do is show that trajectory and the way to do that is making sure you have your peg selected 
your peg in the timeline just right click on the um, on the uh, camera view and down the bottom you'll see control and the sh keyboard shortcut for that shift F11 so I'll just click that and now I see the control curve for the, the thing so now if I go to the middle frame and move him up or down you'll see that trajectory and you can see I move it over there and it cushions it and move it up here it eases it into that one so it can create a bit of easing and a bit of you know distance simulation kind of thing um, what I want to do probably for this is to make him a little bit slower at the start a little bit quicker so he's slower and then he speeds up as he comes towards camera um, so there you go that's just a rough um, a very simple introduction to pegs uh, there's a lot more to this and I'll cover that in a cutout animation tutorial but for now I'll just um, right click on the camera view again and choose hide the controls and I'll play us out oh isn't he lovely it makes me want to I don't know fly across the sky goodbye